Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021 brought to you by the power of Red Arc. Today we're looking at the Marlin Explorer, a 7x4 box trailer with a tent on top. Kath, at a bit under $16,000, the Marlin was by far the most affordable camper on display. How do you think it went for value for money? Oh look Tim, you can't go past this can you? I mean if you're a young family trying to get out into the great outdoors and you've got an option here for a, a simple but really well put together camper uh, that's going to get you and your family into a nice dry, airy space, plenty of space for expansion through annexes, I really like this camper. It certainly reminds me of a first camper trailer. So you had a box trailer with a tent? Oh yeah, first one? Yeah. yeah, took it everywhere. So Glenn, in terms of uh, self-sufficiency there were a few extras added to the Marlin. How do you think it went? It's fairly well fitted out with 60 litre water tanks. It's got 200 watts of solar with a 120 amp hour AGM battery. It's a really good uh, setup. What do you think of the quality of it overall? How was it made? Quality was top notch. Grommets through the walls for the wiring, good welds. Really happy with the quality. They've taken an approach of giving you everything you need but using simple solutions. This approach to technology goes over to the ease of use of the whole thing. I've been lucky enough to use a few Marlins over the last couple of years now and they do take a bit of time to set up fully. Like if you want to put all the annexes and awnings out there are a number of poles and it will take you maybe 30 minutes to get it fully set up but then you do have a base station that you comfortably use for maybe a week. You can just flip the top open and have a night's sleep and I think it's about a five to ten minute setup to do that. It is fundamentally a, a box trailer with slipper spring suspension so it weighs nothing. Like we're talking 450 to 750 kilos depending on how you've set it up and because it weighs nothing it's going to take an absolute hammering out in the bush and if it bounces off something because it's so light it will probably come out fine like i've towed one through a national park and felt very comfortable uh, in the way that i i treated it i never felt it was going to have a problem the other fantastic thing about it from a towing point of view is that you can tow it with a, just a household car like the weight it is under 750 kilos you could tow with a front wheel drive hatchback you don't have to have a $30,000 D-Max or something to tow that. And that 40 kilo ball weight is one of the big selling points for Marlin. They get lots of customers, people who want to do this but don't want to have to go and buy a new car. Yeah, I like the, being able to access the, the internals from inside. If you got your fridge here, and you've got a dual door fridge, you yep. can access it from here or from outside. Or you can flip the other side up and access it from the outside of the camper as well. Yep. So we talked, uh, David, about the innovation and you're, you're absolutely right, this is sort of incremental with the Marlin. But there was one thing I noticed that was a bit of a standout and that, have you noticed the high-pitched roof on the, uh, on the Marlin? either in sun or in some of that torrential rain that we saw during the showcase, I noticed that the Marlin was, was performing really well. It did. It uh, was one of the driest tents out there in that torrential downpour at the show. What do you think about the X Factor though? This Marlin camper gives you a really good feeling in the gut. It's a camper that's not going to weigh too heavily on your purse and yet it will get a family away either for a weekend, for remote camping. It's well built, it's partnering with some really good appliances from really good brands. If you're in the entry market to the, the camper trailers or your experience, I don't think you can go wrong with the Marlin.